thank God for the Holy Spirit, the precious Holy Spirit we feel in this place this morning. And I believe there's needs all in the I don't know if I'm going to do it. Really quick, Matthew got the chapter 14. We stand for reading the word really quick. Just, just don't want to overlook this this morning. disciples to get into a ship and go before him to the other side and he sent the multitudes away and when he sent the multitudes away he went up on the mountain apart to pray and the evening had come he was there along but the ship was now in the midst of the sea tossed in the waves and the wind was contrary to the fourth watch of the night Jesus went into them walking on the sea and when Jesus saw him walking on the sea they were troubled saying it is a spirit and they cried out in fear but straightway Jesus spake unto them saying be of good cheer it is I be not afraid and Peter answered him and said Lord, if it be thou, bid me that I might come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter walked out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when the wind was boisterous and he was afraid, beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and called him and said unto him, O thou little faith, therefore for thou didst thou doubt. And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. And they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying to the truth, Thou art the Son of God. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you we might be able to come to your house. We thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. I pray, God, that you would just continue to go heart to heart, pew to pew, and touch the lives of your people this morning. I thank you for the needs that have already been met. I thank you for the faith that's been poured out upon your throne of grace this morning. I pray, God, that you would just continue to move and work through the power of the Holy Spirit, that we might be able to say those goods have come to the house of the Lord. I believe deep in my heart this morning that there's other needs that need to be met. I've got that confirmation through Stacy for testimony earlier. And I pray as we agree together, there's nothing to say possible with you today. I pray God that you would just come. Your word and your spirit would line up in this place. His souls would be saved and lives would be changed and burdens would be lifted. His storms would be ceased in this place today. I pray God that you would minister in a mighty way that we might be able to feel the power and the presence of God continue to move through this service. Take us out into the highways and the byway with a burden on our heart that there's a bleeding Savior and His name is Jesus. There's a head of the gate and the hell of shun that, not, that everyone might know that we might be able to have that eternal life and not only that, we might be able to have life and life more abundantly as we live here in this world. We thank you. We praise you. We ask all these favors and blessings in Christ's true and holy name. We do pray. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 You may be seated if you can. Sometimes you may just have to stand. But we just think about God's word today. I, I don't know. I just looked at this passage of Scripture uh, a couple of weeks ago. And God just kind of resonated in my spirit. But if you begin to look at this, so many times we overlook things in the Bible. We take a, a passage of Scripture and say, look, I'm never
and isolated thing has nothing to do with me. Absolutely nothing to do with me. Think about this in just a moment. We take it too literally. We think it's all about water. We think it's all about sea. But you think about what Peter said. Peter looked at Jesus and this is what he said. He said, Lord, if it be me. I want to step out and come to you. I want to come where you're at. And I get in the Lord said, uh, in the midst of it, he said, come. And as we see this, I get a picture of Peter standing on the edge of that boat, holding on, trying to balance himself. And all of a sudden, he begins to take that step. Amen. Now understand this. We begin to think about water. We begin to think about him putting his foot on some water. Oh, but it's more than water. Peter wasn't just stepping on water, church. Peter was stepping out on the Word of God. Jesus, he asked Jesus, he said, this is what he said. He said, I won't be able to, if that's you, I want to come unto you. And Jesus yes. said, what? Come. He said, come. And Peter said, I'm going to step on that word. I'm going to stand on that promise this morning. I'm going to step out of this. I'm going to step out of this storm. I'm going to step out of this heartache. I'm going to step out of this trial. I'm going to step on the promises of God. And when I step on that promise, I'll find me another promise. And I step on that promise. And I step on another promise. And I step on another promise. And I love them where Jesus is at. Because that's the God that we serve. That's what God is in the house this morning. As we begin to look at that, he, and we know the story, He looked away and He began to sink. And oh, he, he, he looked down and, and he, he was, he was floundering. He was trying to tread water. And He looked up and here Jesus is standing. And He said, Lord, save me. I got good news this morning. God will hear your prayer. God will look to you and He'll look down with that kind in your voice. And He'll hold out that little star head and He'll reach down and He'll lift you up. And here's the thing about it. It was real easy for us to look at that passage of Scripture where He looked at Peter and He said, Oh, you a little faith, why did you die? So many times I think we look at that as him scolding Peter. So many times I think we look at that as him giving on to Peter. Say, Peter, why what? You're just, you're just a you're just nothing. You should, your faith is weak. And, and you, should, you should have more faith than that. But why did you die? I, I get a whole different picture of that church. Let's look at it from this perspective. Can you imagine? We don't see a lot of scripture there. From the time that Jesus raised him up out of that water to the time they got back in that boat. But I see a Jesus that put his arm around Peter. He said, Peter, you know I love you. You know I got a, I got a plan for your life. You know that I want you to continue to step out in faith. You know that I want you to continue to stand on the promises of God. And I believe as we begin to look at that, we see love, we see mercy, we see grace, church. And I think as we see that this morning, that's exactly where we're at. I think we're in a place this morning where there's a lot of people that have a lot of storms going on in their life. There's a lot of struggle, there's a lot of strife, there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of confusion. But we have the same promise today. That our God, He'll never leave us, He'll never forsake us. He's always there. And as we stand on His promise today, we're going to begin to, we're going to just kind of move this to an invitation we're going to get into play in just a moment. But I think about this. As you're looking up on that storm that's in your life, as you're looking up in that heartache and you're tired and you're weary and you're seeing the power of the Holy Spirit move in this place and all of a sudden you hear that still small voice that says, Come. Amen. Come, you who are weary. Come, you who are troubled this morning. Come, you who are, who are struggling this morning. I'll give you rest. I'll give you hope. I'll give you comfort. Yeah. I'll strengthen you. Don't you know I love you? Don't you know I care for you? Don't you know that I want to meet that need that's in your life? Don't you know that I want to be a part of your life? Don't you know that I want you to know that I'll do to depend on? Don't you know that? I pray this morning if you're here and you don't know Jesus. What a wonderful day to come. I pray if you're here this morning you're struggling. Oh, what a wonderful day to come and just stand on the promises of God. Y'all understand we're going to go back to the Lord and pray with this blessing. We're going to continue to, to meet this need that's in here. I pray God that you just begin to take each one that's come this way this morning. Every burden, every trial, every heartache, every tear. God, I pray that you just begin to work the move in your life. I pray, God, that you can just help them that they might be able to feel the power and the presence of God. I pray they'll look up in their situation this morning and they'll hear that still small voice. I pray that they'll look and know beyond the shadow of doubt that the wind waves, they might be over their head, but praise God, they're under your feet this morning. I pray they'll look up and they'll see a Jesus that's reaching out to their scarred head down in the midst of trouble and trial to pull them out and to hold them up and to lift them up and to give them courage and strength for the journey. Oh, God, we thank you for who you are this morning. We thank you for your promise.
Moses, we thank you for your word and your spirit. And I pray that they'll come together in this place today. That if there's one, two, or ten that don't know you, in the free part of forgiveness of sin. If there's one here that's battling those waves. If there's one here that's got a need, a struggle, a strife in their life this morning. God, speak to their heart. And just say, come. God, we love you today. We thank you. We praise you. We ask all these favors and blessings in Jesus' precious and holy name we do pray. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.